What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Quick Review Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite reels that I've ever purchased. Uh, it is my very first inshore reel and it is the Penn Battle 3 3000. Let's get into it. All right, boys and girls, after getting my very first false albacore tuna, I decided it was time to invest in my very first saltwater setup. This is an inshore setup, and uh, I got the Penn Battle 3 3000, and we're pairing it up with this here Triumph. It is a seven foot medium fast action. This thing, these two paired up together, let me tell you something, it's fierce, folks, fierce. Let's get into the reel, because that's what we're here to talk about today. Now, we gotta make this short and sweet because uh, I am literally about to leave to go down to Lake Powell, meet the guys from Gary Yamamoto, and do a bunch of cool stuff over the next five days, and we're gonna finish at Lake Mead in Nevada, right outside of Las Vegas. So we got a bunch of rods already packed up, and this is the last one that needs to be packed. And uh, I've been waiting to do it because I wanted to do this review. This is the last video I have to edit and get together before I finish packing. We're leaving tomorrow morning super, super early. So really, we're leaving tonight. We're staying at a friend's house close to the airport. And then we're jetting super early in the morning. Let's talk about this incredible reel. Before we get into it, I'm going to tell you a quick story. Now, I know this reel right here is not sealed. Meaning you probably shouldn't just completely douse it in salt water. But the other day I was on my boat that I worked at out in Newport. I caught a striper on my other rod and my buddy went to grab the net, knocked this clean out of the rod holder and it went down to the bottom of the ocean. I actually thought she was a goner. I thought we would never see her again, which stinks because I'm absolutely in love with this setup. So I took my other rod and I tied an eight ounce weight where I put my hook. And then right above that, I tied up a treble hook and uh, it wasn't working. I cast at the thing a ton of times. The captain grabbed this like long pole thing and we tried to get it. We couldn't get it at all. It was just n not looking good. I had one more idea in my brain. Right above the treble hook, I tied another weight. So I went eight ounce weight, treble hook, eight ounce weight. I took one more cast, took a couple cranks, and felt this baby hook into it. I lost my freaking marbles. Like, pretty sure Matt was even happier because he was freaking devastated that he dropped this thing down to the bottom of the ocean. And uh, when it came up, we were pumped. I rinsed it with fresh water, and then I took about a hundred casts until we actually left on the next trip. The reason why I kept casting is because it was completely covered in water, like it was soaked. And in order to get it to drain, you want to cast and reel and cast and reel. The casting really doesn't do anything. It's the reeling that helps it drain. The spinning shoots all the water out of it. And I have not had a single issue since. We've caught a bunch of stripers on it since this thing is a freaking powerhouse 15 pound drag on this thing is amazing it is perfect for fighting stripers and albies and blues and literally anything in the ocean around us except for maybe sharks or something i am absolutely in love with this reel it has cnc gears it's a cnc gear system meaning the gears were forged out of one block of steel it's a solid system if you know what I mean. And that makes it super freaking smooth. Like reeling this thing is so smooth. I actually had another reel in my hand when I went to pick this one up. And this one, like, I, it just felt that much better without any line on it, without anything. I was just like, keep it, putting it in my hand, reeling, seeing what it felt like. That's why I ended up purchasing this. It's also only 11.6 ounces, so it's pretty light for an all metal reel. This, everything, everything here is solid metal. There's no plastic, anything, it's all metal. The only like plasticky part at all is this handle. It's like smooth, kind of plastic. I almost just broke the rod, this part here. Like I said, this is not sealed. So this is only a $125 reel. If you want a sealed reel that's pretty much the same thing and does almost the exact same stuff, you're gonna have to upgrade to the spin fisher, okay? And buy pen if, the, if you wanna stick with pen. You're gonna have to upgrade to the spin fisher. So you're talking about, you know, a lot more expensive. 
like I said earlier, the HT100 drag system is freaking flawless. As you guys can see right here, This thing's flying. It just sounds beautiful with these Albies just ripping drag. I'm in love. If you can't tell, I'm in love. Absolutely in love. For a beginner saltwater fisherman who doesn't like to buy cheap shit because I actually want my stuff to last, I, I couldn't ask for a better purchase. Couldn't ask for a better purchase. This one, like best in show, I believe, at this year's iCast, even though they didn't have an iCast, this reel... This, is, this was like one of the top dogs at iCast. That was an iCast. For braid, it holds 250 yards of 15 pound test braid, 180 yards at 20 pound test braid, and 130 yards at 30 pound test braid. For mono, you get 200 yards at eight pound test, 165 yards at 10 pound test, and 120 yards at 12 pound test. This reel holds a ton of line, that's why, you know, it's a 3,000. If you need to hold more line, you're going to want to upgrade to the 4,000. If you want less line, you can go down to the 2,000. They're all roughly in the same price range. This thing cranks in 35 inches of line per turn. It's sick. It's a 6 2 to 1 gear ratio, so it's fast, but it's not extremely fast. It is absolutely perfect for throwing this son bitch. This Yozuri Spook pencil there, hydro pencil, works beautifully for that. We were using this on the last saltwater video and it was flawless. That's like one of the reasons why I got this set up too was to throw stuff like this for stripers because I absolutely love topwater striper hits. I like topwater hits period. I don't care if it's striper, large mouth or small mouth, you know me. So it's got five plus one, so that's six, stainless steel bearings. And those bearings are sealed. Bearing case is sealed. The drag system is sealed. So those are the only two things sealed on here. Now, if you're looking for a reel for inshore and you're not looking to break the bank and get something that's like 400 bucks plus, I'm telling you right now, this Pen Battle 3 3000 is the best bang for your buck out there. This thing's gonna last. It freaking works like a charm and it's not ridiculously expensive because I know that that saltwater gear can get really, really, really expensive. This thing is a freaking champion. And that's it guys, I got to get out of here. I have a ton of packing to do and I don't have much time. We're gonna be leaving here shortly. Um, so I gotta edit this, get it up on YouTube after exporting and importing and exporting and all that fine stuff and I gotta create the thumbnail, all that. We gotta get this done, so I'm gonna be doing that right now. Guys, do me a favor, if you like what you saw today, hit that subscribe button. If you have ideas for me, things you want to see me review on the channel, quick review Wednesday, let me know. Coming up shortly, we are gonna be doing a ton of ice fishing reviews, because it is getting to be that time of year, folks, and I wanna get a jump on things early so that you guys can kinda see what we like and what we're doing to get ready for ice fishing. I'm not gonna just come out with all of it right after the first day of ice fishing. We're gonna do a bunch of reviews leading up to ice fishing. So stay tuned for that. They're gonna start happening towards the end of October and all through November and obviously December and January. That's it, we're gonna head out. I got a ton of stuff to do. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fish and Grubs. Please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell so you can be notified when we're dropping all these banging videos, folks. Banging videos. No, but seriously, um, we got a ton of good stuff coming out. I don't even know what's about to happen down in Arizona, but I have a great feeling about the videos that we're gonna be able to crank out when we get back. I'm super excited and I already edited all the videos leading up to it. As you guys have seen, I'm actually getting back today when this video is posting. So starting next Monday, these Arizona videos are going to start cranking out and you guys are going to want to be notified when we do so. So thanks for tuning in guys. Peace out. Gonna finna jump for the shit up top when I speak all cap with the speech to the cut up in the rapture.
I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, been a long day. Hit your line with your fog through with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the fields. Say, vivid for the ears. I know that's how they like.